One of our favorite Ultrabooks just got a lot more touch friendly. Meet the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Touch from Lenovo. And this device comes with a 10 point touch display. In addition to everything that we loved about the original X1 Carbon, and that includes a very thin and light design, a durable carbon fiber chassis, and one of the best keyboards in the business. But does adding touch capability worth $14.99? You're about to find out. So let's take a close look at the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Touch. And what you're looking at here is a very thin and light design. So even though Lenovo added a touchscreen, it's still pretty much the same chassis that we saw with the non-touch version. This weighs 3.3 pounds, so only a little bit more than the three pound X1 without touch. And you get a carbon fiber chassis with a, a really nice soft touch finish. So you, it's not only sturdy design, so you don't have to worry about durability, but it also it's easy to, to carry because this soft touch finish really provides a nice grip. If you take a tour around the system, on the left hand side, you have the USB port right here. This is the rapid charge connector that Lenovo uses. You can get up to 85% of a charge within about a half hour or so. We saw really good results in our tests. We have the wireless on off switch over here, SD card slot, mini display port, another USB, this is high speed, and the headphone jack. What business users aren't getting in this design it are things that some really appreciate and might miss having here, which will be ethernet and VGA for older projectors. But overall, the, the port spread is pretty good for the price. Ergonomically, you get everything that you would expect from a ThinkPad, which includes a backlit keyboard, which offers really good travel and spacing here. So this is really a pleasure to type on. And because you have the soft touch finish, it's really comfortable on your wrists. You also have in the X1 Carbon Touch, even though you have the ability for a touch navigation here, a nice and smooth glass touchpad that we found fairly easy to use with the exception of when you're selecting text we sometimes found that it was a little wonky so you want to make sure that you get a little practice in here on the, the rest of the deck you have the fingerprint sensor here for security which is really important and Lenovo also throws in BIOS level security here and TPM if you want that and up top you have the volume controls as well as the mute switch there and also the mute for the mic if you don't want to be recorded. So overall, really sturdy design and sleek with the addition of touch. So you're not really giving up a lot in that department to get that capability. So one of the things that we love about the X1 Carbon Touch Ultrabook from Lenovo is the fact that it has a built-in touchscreen and it's really nice and responsive. This is 10 point touch, so you can use applications like uh, Sketch and others and you can draw with multiple fingers at the same time. Uh, and also the viewing angles are really wide. So even though this is not technically a matte display, we had no problems using this notebook with really wide angles. So if you're gonna give presentations, this is a really good system for Road Warriors. And the touch works really well. So if we come out here, you can see, go into an application like Internet Explorer, you have 1600 by 900 resolutions, so you're gonna fit a lot of information on the screen, especially if you're using Microsoft's uh, built-in browser for Windows 8, because it gives you a Chromeless experience. And the sound is actually pretty good too for this size of notebook because it has Dolby software built in. So if we go over here, fire up trailer. So it's fairly loud and powerful. And you can toggle between different modes using the built-in software. So if we come out here, you can choose between movies and music and games. So despite the fact that this is a business notebook, Lenovo really thought through both the visual and audio experience on the X1 Carbon Touch. So if you're gonna spend $14.99 on an Ultrabook, you wanna make sure that it performs the way, the way it should. And the X1 Carbon Touch does just that because it has a Core i5 processor inside along with four gigs of RAM and one of the faster SSDs that we've seen around at 128 gigs. And as you can see, as we just flip through applications, this is nice and smooth. You'll have no problem multitasking on this device. Uh, and even when you add the touch functionality built in. Battery life wise, we saw about five hours and uh, 45 minutes, uh, close to six hours. That's a little bit under the ultra portable average. And the reason why that's disappointing is because the non-touch version of the X1 Carbon without, you know, so it doesn't have any that touch capability lasted seven hours and 45 minutes. So that's a big trade-off as far as we're concerned when it comes to endurance. And it's probably not one that a lot of road warriors are gonna wanna live with. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're getting the endurance that you want 
out of something this size and something that's so portable. The good news is that because of the rapid charge technology that's built into the X1 Carbon, we could charge this device up to 85% in about a half an hour. So the bad news is that you're probably gonna to wanna to bring the charger with you, but if you do have the opportunity to replenish, you're gonna be rewarded in short order. Overall, we're a little bit torn when it comes to the ThinkPad X1 Carbon with touch because even though we love having the capability of using Windows 8 and all of the new applications and just being able to look at the live tiles and all of our updates coming in, there's a serious trade-off both in terms of price and endurance. So the non-touch version of the X1 right now is going for $1249, whereas the touch version is $1499. So that's a difference of $250. That's something that we might be able to live with if the battery life was in the same ballpark. We saw a difference of, as we said before, of five hours and 50 minutes versus seven hours and 45 minutes. So about two hours of endurance that you're losing when you add touch. For us, we're not quite willing to live with that, but if you want the ultimate in ergonomics and design plus touch capability, the X1 Carbon with touch is definitely worth a look for those that have the money to spend.